Welcome to the Santa Monica Beat. I'm Julie Garcia. The Santa Monica Boys and Girls Club held their annual Youth of the Year banquet to honor some of their outstanding young members. The Boys and Girls Club honored students from grade school to seniors in high school for standing out in the community, and the coveted Youth of the Year award went to senior David Ramirez. Every single one of our kids that was here that we honored today, is a, they're an incredible person all, all on their own. Uh, each one of them deserves to win this award. David is an amazing, remarkable young man and uh, has been through many struggles, and uh, we feel that he's the best person to be the spokesperson for the club going forward. A uh, few years ago, I remember being seated on that corner not knowing what was going on, but once I saw the person receive the Youth of the Year Award, I wanted to be that person. Now that I'm here, I'm trying to go farther with the club and with this award. With the award, Ramirez received a scholarship for college and will compete against other Youth of the Year winners in Los Angeles County. With all of the capital improvement projects about to take place, are you concerned about how this will affect you? Well, on Thursday, project managers of the Expo Light Rail, the Palisades Garden Walk, and other future plans will be happy to answer your questions at the Ken Edwards Center. The event starts at 5.30. And to help those in need of shelter, the annual Super Bowlathon took over the Bay Shore Lanes on Friday. The Beats of Vija Shea was there. The 16th annual Super Bowlathon brought the community together to hit the lanes and fight homelessness. Although he failed to break 100, Mayor Richard Bloom said the cause was much more fulfilling. I uh, did a personal best today. Excellent. Yes, I had the most gutter balls ever. Oh, good for you. <laughs> but we're all out here uh, bowling for a really good cause. And this event grows every year. It raises more and more awareness and more and more money to fight hunger and to end homelessness. The Westside Shelter and Hunger Coalition is made up of a number of agencies that are committed to the problem of homelessness and issues around hunger. We are closer every year to reducing the number of individuals living on the streets of Santa Monica, but saddened by the number of people that still remain unhoused. The Westside Shelter and Hunger Coalition offers services from housing to resume building to interviewing skills clothes, showers, internet, so that they can go online to look for jobs. This is the one event they do a year for fundraising. And in the annual Battle of the Chiefs, Fire Chief Scott Ferguson brought a special strategy to knock off reigning champion Police Chief Tim Jackman. And as you can see, I'm wearing a kilt here hoping to distract um, Jackman. Uh, maybe I can beat him by a pin this time instead of the other way around. Uh, last year was Chief Ferguson's first year here as Fire Chief, and uh, you know, I kicked his butt. And uh, it was kind of a hard fought competition all the way through, but clearly at the end, I just I beat the heck out of him. Take that! This year, if I beat him by one pin, I'm, I'm fine with that. And in the end, after a grueling 10 frames, the power of the kilt prevailed. Almost 600 people showed up to this event to fight homelessness. Last year, they raised over $20,000, and this year, they're hoping to beat it. For the Santa Monica Beat, I'm Avisha Shea. Thank you, Avija. And now for sports, here's Spencer Lee. Thank you, Julie. This is the Sports Beat, and I am Spencer Lee. Signing day swept the nation this week, and right here in Santa Monica, Sam O'Hai had some college bound athletes of their own. Dylan Muscat, Mark Schultz, and Chris Collins signed to play football for out of state programs, while Corey Garcia will go to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and Chad Wheeler to USC. Meanwhile, Lydia Battaglia will venture to the Hawaiian Islands to keep playing soccer, while Kristen Vasquez decided to keep kicking goals for the University of San Francisco. I knew this group was special. Uh, you know, they work so hard. You know, with, with hard work, you're going to have great things come back. So you put good things out in the atmosphere, good things are going to come back. So I, I had a feeling that these guys were going to have this opportunity. So I'm just proud that it actually came to fruition. It's just like you do a, a, a child or a kid, you know, they've, uh, they've taken me under the wing just as much as I have. Uh, taking them and, and uh, I'm very proud of what they've been able to accomplish and what they've been able to do. We'll be keeping in touch and, and making sure that they know that they always have a, a home here at Santa Monica High School. And Chapman's Samo High girls had the Beats game of the week Friday night. Beverly Hills was a win or tie away from the Ocean League title and the Lady Vikings could stay alive by beating them. The game was physical, fast and all Samo for both the first and second half. The only problem was the ball never found nylon and after regulation the score was knotted at zero. In the first extra session, though, Samo breaks through. Vasquez, the soon-to-be USF Don, with the corner kick, and Brenda Matos gets in the air and heads the ball high and over Ida Trevino to go ahead 1-0. But in the second extra session, Beverly's Ashley Averam has the free kick, and she sends this sailing high and deep and into the net, and the Normans force a 1-1 -to -one tie to clinch the Ocean League title and a high seeding in the CIF. And that's all for this week. 
Be sure to keep up with the sports section of the Santa Monica Mirror and SMMirror.com for more on your team. Julie? That does it for us. Be sure to join us next Monday at 9 a.m. for another episode. Until then, I'm Julie Garcia for the Santa Monica Beat, brought to you by the Santa Monica Mirror.